Hit those two threes, the second of those two threes in the fourth. He kind of gave one of those roars. We don't see all that often. And, uh, a lot of emotion and how do you feel to kind of get those to go down and, and halt that momentum that Portland was building? Just competing, man. Just trying to get a win. And um, again, laying it all out there on the line. That was a big swing. I just airballed one. Um, go down, hit one, do the vertical, get another one. They call a timeout. That was just a big swing there. So uh, just competing and in the moment and, um, you know, trying to find a way to, to get it done. And we were able to do that tonight. You guys were all standing up on the bench, cheering on the guys in the start of the second quarter there. What did that run for that bench you made for you guys tonight? You know, just got to keep encouraging them like we talked about before, you know, stay positive and uh, they responded well. Coach, coach gave them a chance and they, they responded the way you would like to see. So they got to continue to build on that. We need those guys. They, they pretty much won us the game tonight um, with that run. And um, they definitely battled again in, in the third and the fourth. Uh, Dame got hot for a couple of threes there, but um, I thought they did an incredible job. Our bench was great tonight and um, we're going to need those guys going forward. Fred, you mentioned Dame getting hot. How crucial was that stretch where Pascal was able to get the steal on him and then sort of force the kick out that caused another steal and then even the help side block? Yeah, I think just continue to show him bodies and, you know, throw a lot at him. I mean, Dame is one of the best in the league, so it takes multiple guys and multiple defenders and just got to keep pursuing. I thought, you know, we made it tough on him towards the end, and ultimately I think what he ended up with uh, seven turnovers and we were able to get out in transition as always get us some easy baskets. So uh, Pascal had a couple big stops there late, and um, OG was, was great. Obviously he got in a little ticky-tack foul trouble, but um, other than that, I thought we did a good job defensively. Christian's been playing pretty well. What have you seen from him lately, and is it just a matter of a rookie getting more comfortable later in the season? I mean, he's not going to be perfect every night, so I don't know what people are expecting him to do, um, but he, he looks like a rookie. You know, he has good games. He has bad games. He was outstanding tonight. Um, and he's going he's gonna to show flashes where he can play. There's going to be different matchups that work for him and different nights where it works for him. Um, but, you know, it's, it's hard to put that much blame on a, on a young kid like that um, at this stage of his career for this team. It's, you know, it's, we got to find ways to help him. And um, tonight he, he gave us a big boost off the bench. How important is one win given what's been going on around here? Yeah, you take them, man. Turn one into two, two into three. I think just putting one one foot in front of the other right now. Um, just try to you know build on this. It was a it was a good night for us. Had a good practice yesterday, and um, a good good day today. We got better tonight. We need to get better tomorrow and and come out here um, next week to uh, for a, a hot Charlotte team. Anything else? Cool. Let me make this statement on the on the on the contract. Um, you know, I, I spoke about this before the season. Again, um, I will never speak on my free agency or contract negotiations, especially between conversations between me and um, management. So it certainly didn't come from me, but um, I was never, <clears throat> excuse me, I was never made a formal offer. Um, I think we all understand what comes with the contract extension due to the CBA if you understand how the cap works and, and how the contracts work um, there's a two-year anniversary that sparks the discussion of taking an extension um, there was never a formal offer made uh, it was a mutual decision by both sides that the smart thing to do would be to wait it out there was no rush given that I can still sign the extension um, all the way throughout the end of the season I also have a player option in my contract this summer and we can deal with that at the end of the season and I also am on the books for next year so take my word for it um, I understand we're in the era of taking a two sentences out of an article and making it a tweet and then all of a sudden you know I get 300 messages last night that I turned down 114 million which is not the case so um, it's a little misleading and um, you know I'm disappointed that it's come out I don't want it to be a distraction and I, I'm not going to be speaking on any contracts or any situations regarding my contract this year I'm completely focus on this team my loyalty is to this team and to this franchise and trying to get us back you know to the level that we're accustomed to around here so I just wanted to speak on that and that's, that's the last thing I'm gonna say on that thanks guys